Hi, my name is Des Lawrence. I'm a member of the Investment Solutions Group at SSGA. I'd like to talk to you today about our flexible asset allocation strategies. And by that I'm referring to our dynamic diversified solution in the United Kingdom, our pensions managed fund in Ireland, and our flexible asset allocation funds in continental Europe. Um, we've had some fairly choppy markets in the last number of weeks, and there's been a few different reasons for that. Investors have been considering central bank actions, um, whether central banks might reduce or reverse the pace at which they're buying government bonds. We've also had some concerns in relation to Japanese policy initiatives and whether they might be effective. And in, in, indeed, we've had concerns about a slowdown in emerging markets. So we've had a lot. We've had a lot of challenges. And that meant that equities went on a bit of a slide. Um, but curiously enough, government bond markets have also had their own little bit of turmoil. So that presents an unusual challenge for investors, particularly when investors are in a fund that doesn't adapt to the environment they're in. Um, our flexible asset allocation strategies, in contrast, do adapt. They're responsive to the risk in markets. They change their asset allocation. So what do I mean by that de-risking? What's, what's that look like? Well, we switched into safer assets. By that, I mean things like cash and short-dated government bonds. Um, short-dated government bonds because they have a very low level of interest rate sensitivity. Um, in contrast to longer dated government bonds. So the two of those combined are an important buffer in the portfolio. And to give you an idea of the, the amount of the changes we made, um, we allocated almost 60% of the portfolio to cash and short dated government bonds, which is a, represents a very substantial de-risking. It's a very big change in the asset allocation and a very big change in the amount of risk in the portfolio. What's that mean for investors? Well, in our view, that means that there's a lot less risk, there's a much greater level of capital preservation in a portfolio. So when markets go through their ups and downs as they do and as they did in, 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 in June, it can sometimes present equity market investors with significant losses, maybe someplace between 5 and 10 percent. And we've seen that order as we went through June, those kind of losses, whereas in our strategies, we were much better able to preserve capital because, as I mentioned, we had something like 60% in much safer assets. For the moment, we're still in a high-risk aversion climate. Um, investors aren't happy to embrace risk. That, of course, can change and that, that can evolve in the coming weeks and months. And um, What we will do, we'll respond to that. And right now, today, as I mentioned, we've got about 60% in things like cash and short dated government bonds in the right conditions as markets evolve. With the right conditions prevailing, we will put that money to work in things like equities to make sure that we participate again on the upside as appropriate. So how do we, how do we manage our portfolios in a very proactive and dynamic way? How do, how do we do that? How do we make those shifts from riskier assets into more defensive assets? And how do we do it on a very meaningful basis? Well, we've developed a proprietary tool at State Street Global Advisors. It's what we call our market regime indicator. It is the years of lots of research and work and implementation, and that guides us in our asset allocation. It's very timely, and it prompts us to change the level of different assets or the level of risk in portfolios and adapt to the market environment we're in. And that was exactly what prompted us to take a large amount out of those riskier assets such as equities, real estate, commodities, and put them into the less volatile assets such as short-dated government bonds and cash.